Hello, welcome to my Sun Different. Today I'm just going to do a bit of makeup and I'm going to put some primer on. As you see, I need a little bit more than this. And then I'm going to put it all over my face and try to get all the other spots, you know, that I usually want to get. So. And this is for the news. I know you guys always ask me to um, let you guys know what show I'm doing. So this is just a brief um, news brief. It won't be a very long one, so I don't really, I'm not particular about what I have on um, at all. Like as far as clothes and things like that, it's not really that important to me. But I do want to be presentable because, you know, I only, I only usually wear my makeup for whatever I'm putting it on for. <laughs> and then, like, I'll switch up if I need to. I don't mind that at all. I'm kind of used to it my whole life, so we're just going to get it on. And then make sure you put some near your neck where you're going to blend out under your ear and around. And that way it's got fuller coverage. Because these lights, you never know what lighting you're going to be in, huh? So a little bit of concealer, of course, will be around my eyes and my nose and my mouth and some of my forehead right in the center, down my nose, right here, Got even the corners of my eye, and you can do your temples just to evenly distribute, and of course your mouth, you want to get the sides of your mouth just underneath, sometimes this spot right here gets a little bit dark, but somewhere on your mouth that way your lip color is like popping and fully visible i know you guys will probably wonder who i'm talking to um because i get a lot of um a lot of my followers um do work in front of the camera Oh, I wanted to make sure this time that I got my eye bags. So, right here where that is, blend it in and out. Blend it in and out. You see that you can't even tell, just like bare skin. Try to get inside of your eyeball. And your eyebrow, of course, try to get those eyebrows that are kind of stray that looks good so far so good and for a deep concealer a really really harsh um discoloration once again i'm gonna go in under my eye I'm around my nose sides of my nose blend 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 oh and the redness underneath it's that time of year again it's gonna be wet allergies and then the temperatures drop if yours hasn't dropped already i had been seeing like winter storms and stuff <laughs> over on the west coast and you know, more, more inland, but that, that must have been really nice. I mean, not nice, but like just a little bit of snow once in a while is kind of, or, you know, like we had, we had a cool couple of nights, um, I kind of enjoy them. I 
kind of enjoy when things are like out of season you know like it's just like random <laughs> when nature randomly chooses me I don't I don't mind so I'm gonna put this uh, serum boost me up what is this wet and wild put it on my brows I love this stuff I'm gonna choose a, one of these let's go in and groom so we can kind of hurry and speed things up now I'm gonna go in with this brow and do my brow piece of lint stuck on it okay now I'm gonna do my brow so I'm gonna just line it and fill it in again line it and fill it in and then here again line it and kind of Fill, fill it in. So it's okay if like you don't get it exact, as long as you kind of blend it out. You see that? Just darken the spots that you might have missed so that way it doesn't look sparse. And you can go in and like, like say you drew out of the line, you can go in with some concealer or what have you and just clean it up and then Get the little spule and buff it out a little bit. Kind of makes them look like thicker. to do some of this highlighter here and here and up here on my nose chin cupid's bow in the center of my forehead go up to your temple just make it a little bit even just like that above your brow just make sure it's like even just like that and then you can go in and like blend it in
just like that. Now, I'm going to put some eyeliner on. So, go from the center out. I'm going to put some of this tape on just to make sure I don't get it all uneven. Just like that. Try to make them even if you're doing it this way. And then just go in and continue the line. It's okay if you mess up a little bit because you can just fill it in. And go a little bit higher. Continue to the other side of the eye, tapering it off as you go towards the corner. And then you want to stop if you're using the, the big one. This is the multi-stick. Kind of find a, a finer point one and then do that in inner corner. Blend that color in to the multi-stick. We can do some shadow. Oh, I want to go in with this underneath first. Let me go in with this underneath and buff it out. So that way it looks like I have a lot of makeup on, even though it's just like the most minimal kind of remove the tape if you have to go in and blend in with the multi-stick let's put it back where it was <laughs> and um, do the other side too blend that in with the multi-stick this is 
long as you have some coverage on there. And that should, that should do it. Sometimes like where your tear duct is, you, you tend to go easy on that part. But don't be scared to put color there because um, you should have enough concealer on that it will kind of stand out and kind of look like highlight your inner um, eye. So that's kind of like a positive thing. Kind of mix it where the tear duct is with the um, multi-stick again. Right, because it's going to end up touching anyway. So there you go. That's how you make your eyes bigger. And now for the shadow. kind of want to do, like I said, kind of not that bold of a look. We will see. We will see. Here we go. Here's our colors we're working with. And... So the first one I want to add is going to be, I want this color, I want this color, so let's see, what was I using? I'll use this, this one, and this one is Debut. And let's see. I'm gonna go on the lid and slightly above the lid with this color. And go all the way to the other side of your eye with that color. Okay, and then the next color, um, what color do you guys want to do? I'm thinking this one, this one, or this one. We already did this one last time. Mm. We'll do it again. That way we get really good at it. So I'll go in with this one. I think I used black last time. And get some of that color on. And we'll go in to the edge and buff that in. Go up, blending it into the eyebrow area. Do the same on the other side, the edge of your eye into the crease and blend it upwards into the eyebrow bone. You see that? You can darken this side a little bit. This is exactly how I used to do it in high school. But I used um, this color. 
and then instead of going all the way up or down go just above the crease so go hit the crease and don't hit this inner corner of your eye at all don't touch it don't touch it just the sun the right there right where it begins right there and above the crease just touching it so go into the crease and get that color in there like that see that we'll try it again here's the corner of your eye don't touch that and just touching above the crease so go into the crease you see this is like a medium size so it'll just touch the, the top of the crease so go in middle and blend it like that just like that and then just darken darken that the edge Darken that. And if you want, you can go in, blend it good. And if you want, you can go in with a black. Like I told you, I used in high school. Go in with a bit of black and kind of, you see where your liner is? Just right there around that area just to make it like smoky looking and kind of elongate your eye just tap it like that that way you don't smudge your liner just tap it do it again kind of taper it off at the edge so you're going at the side of your eye and then taper it off into the tape. Like that. And you could take the tape off and blend it well. Just make sure you have enough eyeshadow on your brush and then tap it. Are you ready? Here's the finished product. And just like that. And then what you want to do is get a, a nice little shiny, fleshy color and kind of do up your brown bowl. Do it up really nice. And then blend it down. up your brow bone and then blend it down into the corner of your eye that way you have a color here and this is where you people put contour on so you can go ahead and put your contour on if you need that a little bit more glam um, kind of blend it out into like the temple area and if you have a smudge just go ahead and wipe that off like that and so I was seeing people were putting like highlights you know like on this side I thought that was cute I want to try it let's try it what are we gonna you know miss out not miss out well what do you guys think bring it down into your already highlighted cheekbone just like that. just tap it and then we'll like um we'll put them up here and above just above where we already highlighted just like that and kind of blend it out that's cute now we're gonna get um 
I'll just use this pink right here and put a little bit on my blush brush just because I'm kind of in a quick fast hurry so I'm gonna go ahead and blend all that little tapped shadow into Ooh, I made a mess right here I'm gonna blend all that little tap shadow into my cheekbone like this and up just like that and blend it inwards towards your nose and around the apples of your cheeks you see that and of course the top of your cheekbone you want to blend it downwards into the mid section of the face like that see now this is this is just a like a concealer brush or blend it just blends I'm gonna use this white color underneath my eye tap it in real smooth it blends really easily with this type of brush so I'll just tap it in and it just automatically will blend just brush it just sweep the under eye area with that color and then you can put some down your nose like that Cupid's bow okay that looks good and then Let's see, we have, that's it with that. And I guess we'll go in with the I'll just go in with my, my eyebrow color and do my lip. So you want to draw a line above and below. So here's a cupid's bow. You want to draw a line across from point to point. So this point of your lip to this point of your lip, right across the cupid's bow. And um, kind of make it a little bit thick. And then under. Now, these points, you need to connect these points on all four sides. So you can start whichever side you want and draw a line to this point from the side of your mouth, those points. To the ends of each line and then thicken it a little bit like this and then outline it again correcting the um, the line like as far as it being crooked
Now, the points, we need to outline those. So go above the points. Hold your mouth like this. And you can see the points where your cupid's bow is. Each point where your cupid's bow is. Outline above them. See that? Now I'm going to go in with my frost lipstick. And I'm going to do my lips with it. Rub your lips together and just fill in wherever you need to and make sure you go above that line you drew. And rub it in. That should do it. Now if you have lashes, you can probably do your lashes. Um, and I'm not even going to bother with base. Um, let me try to put some lashes on here really fast. And get this lash glue kind of messy Ooh. I like to comb them a bit especially if you don't store them properly they'll get lint on them from your tools so then go ahead and put your glue on as you normally would wait until it gets sticky and then apply And then put these on in the corner. Stick it on. And then you want to get like a little something and stick on the middle. And then the other side. Be more precise. I 
and just push it into place just like that now the other side too you just stick it on the corner and then you grab your little your little end and push it into place as you go along to the inside of your eye to this side and you want to make sure that you're positioning it before you stick it on there and hold it until it sticks so here we go again put this on the corner middle and then the edge and hold it now tap it all into place And pinch it if you need to to adjust it just like that you can put your mascara on before or after but definitely try curling them before you put your lashes on that way you won't um, you won't bend your lashes into a misshape Um, because some of the lashes like if you style them beforehand it's a lot easier so curl your lashes and style your lashes before applying them and that is all for the makeup today thank you for watching thank you for joining me I hope you like this look it's pretty basic and simple I just wanted to get at some of the key aspects of this because I have been not getting a lot of views on my makeup channel so guys and gals be sure to continue watching for more tips this is kind of like my gothic high school look 90s style but um thank you for watching like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys again soon on the next one my sunday front Bye bye <laughs>